That was that quite rough? You look fairly uh, tiredish. It was only 11 laps. I don't know what 17 is going to feel like tomorrow. Um, we, we got off to a, fa a fairly good start, absolutely bang on for that first mark because they, they changed B to two marks to flatten it out. And then uh, we watched the whole fleet disappear off to the right. Richard Carr's over on our left-hand side and he was running parallel to us. We are bang on for the mark and then he just came from the left straight across. And Craig's going, watch it, watch it. Bang on that side of it. He then pulled off to the left. We car carried straight on right into the mark. Four other boats, including a cigarette, had hit between the two marks and were then when we came round the mark we had two of them coming the other way up the field. I just can't believe it this you know you get that situation. We are more prepared yeah we uh, unfortunately though we didn't get good time testing yesterday and uh, power pole was actually the first hot lap that we'd had on the race course so to only be six tenths of a second from getting uh, second place was uh, we were happy about that we're good with our start position Went out this morning and the boats just feels like it did last year in Portugal. So uh, really excited, looking forward to it, and uh, hopefully want to put on a good show for the TV. <laughs> uh, bienvenue à Marseille. Je crois que sera un bon weekend de compétition. Yeah. See! Hey! 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 Hey!
It's never easy with uh, such conditions. We have the strategy to start very fast, to give some uh, gap between us and the second position, and then to control the race and control the, the sea, which was very rough. You can, you can always damage the boat. It's a bellissima gara di quelli che veramente mi piacciono tanto. Ci siamo proprio divertiti. C'era mare, le boe erano mo belle virate. Quindi la nostra strategia è stata di partire abbastanza forte prendere un poco di margine e poi controllare che la barca innanzitutto non si rompesse, che con questo mare i danni sono tanti e poi vedere gli altri che facevano. Vedendo che gli altri non venivano sotto ho iniziato a rallentare un po' e comunque è andata molto bene.